my life is filled with miracles. Miracles is those things that come to me. It doesn't come from my mind. It doesn't come from my intellect because I'm not very intelligent. Just ask my early teachers and they would let you know. But things come through me. Two days ago, I get up early in the morning and I normally meditate. One of the first things that I do. I've been doing that close to 50 years. And things just pour through me. It's not from me. It's like I'm a pipe, like a vehicle for this intelligence that comes from outer space. And the problem, it's there to help us solve our problems. And I think one of the major problems that we have is that we're all doing lean. But very few of us are lean. Very few of us are lean. Why? Why are lean? Well, what came through is that lean coming from Toyota, coming from Shingo and Ono, coming from other Japanese companies that have been very successful with this process. But what we did here in the West is we took from lean only those parts that we liked, only those parts that we were comfortable with. We were happy with 5S, we're happy with quick changeovers, do you know what I mean? We're happy with uh, the total productive maintenance, we're happy with value stream mapping, and we're happy with the Kaizen Blitz, and we run those. And each of those events unto themselves are very successful events, very successful. But it's not the totality of lean, and it doesn't sustain us in the long term. What is missing then? That's what came through me in the morning, telling me what we're all missing. I believe what we're missing is a real understanding of what value is. Now, we go after value in the value stream. We do this in the office, the factory, the hospital. We're looking for value. And we might define value that which the customer is willing to pay for. And everything else we should look at carefully as a waste to see if we can get rid of it. And so we look at the value stream. And a lot of us have been very successful with this value stream mapping. But what is the real value? What is the real value? Let's look at what a Japanese company does differently. First, we have to go to the value statement that almost every major Japanese company has and see what they say is the purpose of their company. Now, yes, they want to make money, but every one of those companies wants to please customers with high-quality products. Also, they want, to, they want to please all of their employees and they want to serve society. They want to serve the world. That's their purpose. That's their value. Now, if you work for a company in Japan, you understand what the...